Hey everyone and thanks for stopping by to my channel. In front of me I have the SH Figure Arts Kingdom Hearts Goofy. This is based on the Kingdom Hearts 2 version. It's a new release and it's the fourth figure of the Kingdom Hearts SH Figure Arts line. It's a really good figure. I've spent a little bit of time with it but before I show you the figure I'm going to go through the small amount of optional parts to come with then we'll go into the figure. So it won't take too long but skip ahead if you really are eager to see the figure first. So Goofy doesn't come with a lot of stuff. He comes with one pair of extra hands, aside from the pair that he's already got on him. So these are just open palm hands. And they're nice and very Disney-esque. They're gloved hands. Here's the detail on the back. And very large and rounded hands. And then he comes with one single right hand, which is just a thumbs up. And you can pose that with him kind of pointing to himself or just a thumbs up as it is. And then he comes with two extra heads. So the one that's on him is a normal smiling open mouth face then one that is similar smile but it's just not with an open mouth and then here I'll show you the teeth closer on it and his snout and nose it's all really good well sculpted and then each one has the little tuft of hair three little strands of hair the eyes it's goofy it's everyone's favorite goofy and then the other face is an open mouth this is pretty much his mean look so I guess you will use this for battle. And then the slight ridges you'll see on the snout here towards the eyes. So yeah, this is a mean face. So good face, face options. And then finally, he comes with his unique shield. And what would Goofy from Kingdom Hearts be without this weapon? So the shield is, again, based on Kingdom Hearts 2. It has the Mickey Mouse insignia on top. Nice blue uh, coloring paint. It's a metallic sort of blue. And then the gold is also metallic gold, so it looks good. And then on the reverse side is the um, handle where you will hold it. You can take this off and I'll show you how to do that soon. And then again, nice metallic blue and gold. So the shield looks good. So he doesn't come with a lot. I don't think he really needs to come with a lot, but it's a good amount of stuff and the face options are quite good. So now onto the figure. So he stands roughly around uh, 15 and a half centimeters tall. So he is pretty tall. Uh, I think he's taller than actually Sora. That will bring Sora out to compare. So he's a tall figure overall. And for Goofy being a Goofy kind of character, this guy can actually move quite a bit. Like I was very surprised with the range of motion and articulation uh, they've packed into this figure itself. It's a really, really good Goofy figure. I don't. This is my first Goofy figure, so um, I, I don't have a lot of experience with Goofy in to toys and figures. But this one is really, really good. Like just looking at him, he's got nice colors. He's um, sculpted really well. His hat looks good. His features look good. Trousers, baggy pants, and then of course his shoes, which everyone you know expects they're going to be very long boat looking shoes. So they all look good. He's just an all round really good looking figure and he fits the rest of the Kingdom Hearts SH figure arts really really well. So taking a look at his articulation then. So just get the ears out of the way because I'll probably forget them. So his ears do move around. So both of them, left and the right ones. So he can look up like so and then he can look down. And then, of course, he can look right, left, and then tilt his head side to side. Of course, he's got a massive snout, so it will cover his eyes, a bit like Mickey Mouse did before him. And then his shoulders can go up and around. Now, if there's one thing I have to comment is the joints can be a little bit fiddly to kind of get that extra range of motion. But once you figure it out, it's actually really good. You know, he, so this is where it can get a bit tricky. So when you want to bring his arm a bit more towards his uh, chest, you can do it. You just got to twist it around a couple of times to kind of get it. So there you go. So if I show you with the right arm, it probably won't happen. Actually, it did. But sometimes it can get stuck and then you just kind of have to twist it a couple of times and then it will revert back and then allow you to get that extra range of motion. So it's all good. In terms of bicep, it's a decent amount. And then his wrist, the cuffs on his uh, gloves, by the way, I'll get a closer look at that, do swivel on there. They're not you know, molded on or anything like that. But his wrists can go up and down. And then twist around. So the same again on the other side. Torso, you can crunch like so. His jacket is loose and it gets in the way, but hopefully you can see that. You can lean back like so. And then you can twist, upper torso twist. He's got a bottom waist twist too. Mine was a bit stiff, so uh, if that happens to yours, maybe just apply a little bit extra force on it and it should be fine. It's all connected down to his leg, so it's a bit not weird, but you know when when you get your hands on it um, and then down towards his uh, leg 
So his pants, by the way, are all loose. His belt is all loose as well. So they're not molded on like you'd expect in so many figures. Like they mold them on. But belt is loose, as you can see. And then his pants. I'll kind of show you that. So you get that whole baggy kind of look that you need to get. And then that, because of that, it allows him to actually lift his leg up very, very high. But at the same time, then he ends up looking like he's pulling his pants up really high. And then you can see his shirt underneath. But that's easy to hide. It's not a huge problem. But that's really great that they can allow him to really, really lift his leg up super high. So if you've got a stand of any kind, then you can get some really amazing looking poses where he's leaping through the air or, you know, things like that. Then for his knee, let's bring his pants down a bit. For his knee, you can bend it like so. It's a good amount. I mean, you don't need a huge amount for him. So it works for his purpose and it looks clean. It looks good. Mine, paint-wise, it's a bit scuffy here after I've bended, bent it a few times in and out and other things. And then for his calf, you can move it around like so and pivot it inside. Sora has a similar thing going on, but in the boot, so I'll show you that here. So you can move it around. Again, this is a bit fiddly, so you just twist it, toy around with it, and then you'll get the required motion and articulation that you need to get out of that. And then he has a toe bend like so. So you can do a natural one, Not so, so you just lift it up a little bit because normally Goofy when he's standing uh, upright he still has a bend going up with his foot so you can do that with this, just might take a little bit of time to uh, pose. So all in all his articulation is really really good, I mean I wasn't quite expecting you know this kind of uh, effort and you know b to be impressed with Goofy so I'm, I've, I've come away very very impressed with him and like I said about the pants and the belt, because these are separate and then the way it kind of moves up or down, it allows you to fill in the gaps if it's, you know, exposed a bit too much or also let him raise his legs up a lot, lot more than uh, you'd probably have expected. So it's a good, good thing, I think. It's very positive. Detail, let me give you a closer look. I only gave you a very brief further look, but here we go with the belt and then his pants and then the shoes. Let's go further up. So like I said, his uh, jacket, blazer, waistcoat, however you want to call it, is separate as well. So you can probably yank his arms out and then take this off if you really wanted to. You got the zippers, of course. It's a Nomura design, so it's going to have zippers all over the place. Going to the reverse side. He's got the blue strap thing here too. And then the hat with the goggles on them. I mean, you have to be really nitpicky with this, in my opinion. I, I'm Like I said, I'm impressed with the figure. But maybe, you know, the flariness of his sleeves could be a little bit trimmed down uh, and less flary. But honestly, that's just being super, super nit 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 picky. So I'm very, very impressed with this figure overall. So then let's bring out Sora, Donald and uh, Mickey. So let's bring out Donald first. So Donald is a tiny, tiny figure. If you've seen my uh, video covering that in my channel, then you'll see how tiny he is, and also Mickey Mouse, also very, very tiny. And then finally, Sora, who actually came out first in this lineup. So there we go. So Sora's actually standing a little bit behind, but you can see Goofy would actually be a little bit taller if his legs were straight, but he doesn't really stand straight generally as a character. He's very, very much slouched, and his knees are bent, so he'll end up matching Sora's height a little bit. It's still probably a bit taller because Sora's still quite upright. What I've got in here, but overall, scaling wise, they look really, really good together. So, I'm very, very um, impressed overall with what they've been doing with the output of this line so far. So, let me show you then the hands. So, like I said, this was his original hand that he comes with. This one you can apply the shield on. So, I'm going to take it off for now because I find it easier to do it this way. So, I'm going to bring the shield back. So, like I've shown you how to take the hand off, you just replace it with the hand of your choice. but for the shield, then you can take this bit off, like so, and then this splits apart in the middle. And what you need to do is you feed one section through one part of the hand and the other at the opposite end. It's quite easy to do, there's not really too much effort. It's not like, uh, say, the Revoltech figures or anything like that. And then you just plug it back in. Top one. And then the bottom one, so it should be fine. I think I've done it upside down, but no matter. And you just put the hand back on. There we go. 
So if you need to hold it, like I said, I've done it upside down. It should be the other way, but that's really how easy it is. And I found that kind of uh, mechanism, the way that you put it through the hand from both sides, it works really well for him. And hopefully more figures with shields have that sort of option. And he looks really good holding the shield. Very, very, very good. So that's that. And then changing the face then. I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'll do... Let's give him the mean look face. This is the mean look. And then that's it. It's very, very simple. Push that in. You might get a little bit more... It's a bit more noticeable on Goofy of the line separating the faces than it is on, say, Sora. Because Sora's hair uh, hides it quite well. But it's not too bad once you're looking at it on distance and it's on your shelf. All looks good. So his mean face looks really good on him too. So that covers... The height differences, how he scales with Sora, gonna bring him out again and the others, and then how to change his shield and hand, and then how he looks overall with the rest of the group. And yeah, I'm very, very impressed with Goofy, particularly because uh, I just didn't really expect it to work out so well for him. Um, and I, as you know from my video from the Sora video, even if you've checked it out or not, if you haven't, do check it out. I was very impressed with Sora. It's much, much better than the Bring Art figure that's out there currently as well. So right now, this line is super, super cool. And if you're a big Kingdom Hearts fan, then I definitely recommend you, you know, grab it if you can. I've imported all of mine from uh, Nippon Yasan. I think you're gonna have to use. You can probably get it from Big Bad, uh, Big Bad, not the Big Bad toy stores, and Amazon and other good toy import retailers. But I, yeah, I love it. Just love this line so far. It's very, very clean looking. It's very, very articulated. The articulation, sorry, is very, very good. And that's those two of the main things that you want from figures. You know, whereas the Bring Arts, I find, is a little bit on the sloppy side in terms of the way it looks. And the articulation, too, is not as great as uh, the ones that are on show here. So, thanks for watching. Do check out my channel for the videos covering Mickey, Donald, and Sora. And also the Bring Arts Sora. And I will cover whatever comes out next hopefully you know i really 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 love terror so i hope they do birth by sleep terror because yeah that would you know he deserves a figure he doesn't have one yet so it'd be great to see terror out there so i'm not sure actually who the next one is i think roxas is uh planned or a prototype was made but we'll see and i will definitely cover it do try and get these if you're a big kingdom hearts fan thanks for watching anyway and there goes goofy